Hi, my name is Benita from Colombia. Please like and subscribe. I was raised by a single mom who was always so busy at work that she never had any time for me. So she'd try to make up for it by getting me expensive gifts. Honey, I bought you this lovely dress in your favorite color. It's red, mom. My favorite color is green and this dress isn't even my size. Well, it was no surprise that mom knew nothing about me, but things got too much when she even forgot my birthday. I am so sorry, Benny. I was just so caught up and... Forget it, Mom. You're never there for me. I guess you're not so different from Dad. Hey, that's not fair. But I just walked off to my room and slammed the door shut. I knew she hated it when I compared her to Dad. And I decided, if she didn't care about me, then I was going to learn how to be happy on my own. After that day, I became friends with the neighborhood kids and started playing with them until Mom got back. And it was pretty fun. Until one day when I was eight, one of the kids kicked a ball and it broke a neighbor's car window. Shoot! All the kids ran away, but I was too slow and the neighbor caught me. You did this. I'm gonna tell your mom now. Before I could even protest, a little girl spoke up. No, it wasn't her. The girl who broke your car ran that way. The neighbor immediately ran in that direction and my eyes lit up. Hi, uh, thanks for saving me when my own friends ditched me. Guess they ain't your friends then. She introduced herself as Sarah and told me her parents had recently moved to the neighborhood. And just like my mom, they also kept busy most of the time. After that day, Sarah and I started spending time with each other and soon we became besties. We even started with our very own china collection after we bought the most beautiful green colored teapot in a yard sale. One day, we'll have a whole room filled with beautiful china. Yeah, and everyone is gonna call us queens. Queens of China. Time went by and our friendship grew stronger until one day, Sarah told me her family's business had grown and they were moving to a richer neighborhood. Of course, both of us were really sad, but there was nothing we could do. But only after a few days, Sarah started acting weird. She'd spend more time with other rich girls at school and avoid me. Hey, remember this really awesome cafe you wanted to go visit? They're giving away free desserts this evening. We should definitely go. The girls behind her started laughing and Sarah joined them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Free stuff is for poor people, Benny. Yeah, that's poor people talk. By the way, what does your dad even do? Oh, I'll tell you. None of your business. Chill out, Benny. And sorry, I can't hang. I'm going shopping with my friends for a party tonight. A party? Well, that sounds fun too. I wasn't invited, but we could go together. Um, I don't think so. If they didn't invite you, maybe they don't want you there, but I'll see you later. How could she say that to me? The next few days, I saw her running errands for other rich bratty girls, and I felt so bad. She was my best friend after all, and I wasn't gonna give up on her so easily. So I thought of reminding her of the good old days. Hey Sarah, it's been ages since I saw our china collection. Did you add anything new to it? That collection was trash. After we moved into our new mansion, I threw it away to make space for my new branded stuff. But those were our childhood memories. Come on, Benny, give me a break. It was just childish stuff. We're too grown up for that anyway. And it's not like we're friends anymore. Gosh, that made me so mad that I jumped on her and we both went crashing into the girl standing behind her. And just then some teachers caught us and we got detention for a week. But after this incident, I knew one thing for sure. I was so done with Sarah now, and I was never going to be friends with anyone ever again. Later in the detention room, I was drawing something when I heard a scary voice from behind me. God, you suck at this, don't you? I turned around and saw a monster. Jeez, he scared the heck out of me. Who are you and what are you doing here? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Martha, and I was put in detention on my very first day because I tried to prank some kids. God, she was something. From that day, she'd come and sit in the detention room and talk my ear off all the time. This school is so fancy. Even the detention room is so big. Did you know I'm here on scholarship? I brought a ham sandwich. Want to have lunch with me today? My dad works in a hospital. What does your dad do? Nothing. Why do you talk so much? I'm sorry. I talk a lot when I'm nervous and I don't have any friends here, so I feel a bit left out. Looking at her sad face, I felt bad for being so rude to her. So I told her she could talk to me but I regretted my decision very soon because now Martha became my unwanted shadow and followed me everywhere. 
One time after math class, I tried to avoid her by hiding in the gym, but moments later, I heard her voice. There you are. I've been looking for you. Phew, it's like you almost didn't want to be found. <laughs> God, did she have some kind of tracker on me? Finally, it was the weekend, and I was so grateful that I wouldn't have to see Martha for the next two days. I was in my room watching my favorite MSA videos when Mom called me. Benny, your friend is here. My friend? I walked downstairs and found Martha in my living room, chatting away with Mom. What are you doing here? Don't be rude, Benny. Your friend came to study with you. Yes, you said we could work on the assignment together. Ugh. Mom sent her upstairs with me, and Martha kept blabbering about how beautiful my house was. Wow, your mom is so amazing. But where's your dad? He's away, on a business trip. Awesome, where to? China, what does he do? Are you here to do homework or interview me? Let's just focus on the assignment, Martha. And surprisingly, she was really good at studies. She helped me finish my assignments quickly and showed me some super cool tricks to solve equations. Over the next few weeks, Martha and I started to get along. She was really cool, and I loved how she always made me laugh. Then one time, when we were having lunch together in the cafeteria, Sarah kept staring at us. And then suddenly, she tripped over something and all the food in her tray landed on one of her girlfriends. What the heck? Do you know this dress costs more than your entire net worth? She pushed Sarah down and poured juice all over Sarah's head. The rest of the crowd just stood there laughing and making videos of her while my blood boiled. But since Sarah made it clear that we weren't friends anymore, I turned away. But Martha stopped me. We should help her, Benny. I saw Sarah's miserable face, and I went ahead and helped her up from the floor while Martha shooed everyone away. After she calmed down, we both left from there. But the next day, Sarah came running to us in tears. Benny, I am so sorry. After you helped me yesterday, I realized you're my only true friend, and I behaved so horribly with you. So please, forgive me and let's be friends again. Nice try, Sarah. But I know you're only here because your old gang dumped you. So no, you ain't welcome here. But Benny, maybe she really is sorry. No, it's all right, Martha. If she doesn't want me here, I'll leave. She got really sad and walked away. But then a few days later, something shocking happened. It was raining very heavily, and I heard a knock at my door. When I opened it, I saw Sarah covered in bruises. Oh God, Sarah, what happened? It's so slippery and I tripped on my way, but luckily this didn't break. Here, it's for you. She handed me a box and when I opened it, I screamed with joy. It was the first antique green china teapot we bought together. You had it all this time? Yeah, I lied in front of those girls to look cool, but I could never throw it away because we had so many memories with it. Oh, Sarah. I let her in and got her some hot chocolate to drink. After that, I dressed her wounds and she apologized to me for everything. I could see how sorry she was and I decided to forgive her. And just like that, Sarah, Martha and I became friends. It was so great to have her back because, to be honest, I really missed her. One night, I decided to call both of them for a sleepover at my place. I went downstairs to get them more snacks. But when I came back, Martha wasn't there. I went looking for her and saw her going through my stuff in my room. Martha, what are you doing? Uh, sorry. I was just looking for something to wear. I, I spilled some juice over... And that's when I saw her holding up a magazine in her hand. Where did you get that from? I snatched it from her hands, feeling sick to my stomach. It was like my worst nightmare had come true. It's your dad, right? I stood there like a statue, but then she held my hand. You know you can trust me, right? Yes, that's my dad, and he's in jail. My mom and I had to move here and restart our lives after dad was arrested in England. I've always felt so ashamed, and mom was so heartbroken that she threw herself into her work, leaving me all by myself. Oh, Benny. I'm so sorry about this, but you're not alone anymore. I'm here for you. I'll always be with you. She hugged me tight and I felt like a weight lifted off after talking about my dad. But a week later, I walked into school and everyone kept staring at me like I was some alien. I didn't know why till I got to my locker and almost had a heart attack. Pictures of dad and his trial were posted everywhere. Just then I saw Sarah running towards me. Benny, are you okay? Sarah, did you have something to do with this? What? Don't be ridiculous. 
I've known since we were kids and I've never told anyone. Why would I do this now? She was right. She had always known and even when we weren't friends, she had never told anyone. And that's when my heart felt like it stopped beating. Martha. Just when I started to trust her, she did this. I saw Martha skipping happily towards me and I went ahead and pounced on her. How could you do this, you little snoop? Why would you do this? Benny, wait, what are you? Sarah came in and pulled me away. Let it go, Benny. Don't get upset. The next few days, I didn't go to school, but Sarah came to visit me every day and kept me company. It felt so nice to have her around. She even tried to convince me to give Martha a second chance, but I stood firm. But one night, when she didn't come, I decided to polish the china teapot she brought me. And that's when I noticed it wasn't the china teapot we bought when we were younger. What the heck? Could it be that she lied to me too? I stepped out of the house to get some fresh air. And that's when I noticed two figures arguing. Why are you even here? Benny and I are best friends and you need to back off. But she needs to know I didn't do it. It was actually you. Yeah, it was me. But there's no way you can prove it, weirdo. So get lost now. What? So she was the one who told everyone about my dad and framed Martha? I went right up to her and slapped her right in the face. Benny, wh what are you doing here? And why? Drop the act, Sarah. How could you stoop so low? I trusted you. And Sarah suddenly looked like a psycho. You left me no choice. I hated seeing you so happy with her and I just wanted my bestie back. And about your dad, don't worry. Everyone at school will forget about it in no time. You know high schoolers and their short-term memories. No harm done. God, you're crazy. I know the teapot is fake, Sarah. And so is your friendship. I hate you and you stay away from me. I went over to Martha and immediately apologized to her. I am so sorry for not believing you, Martha. Please forgive me. It's okay, Benny. It wasn't your fault. I'm the one who asked you to give this crazy witch a chance. Forget about her. Let's go grab some ice cream. But where are we going to get ice cream this late? In my fridge. You're staying the night with me. <laughs>